We're going to start with an empty workspace. We're going to show you how to do a pan fusion algorithm uh, within the GSL application. Uh, first, what we'll do is use the QuickBird dataset as an example. And what we're going to do is combine the high res pan into the low res multispectral to create a high res color product. So, what we'll do is highlight the pan and multispectral and drag and drop them into the canvas. You can also go up here to um, file open image if you want to as well. Um, so first thing we're going to do is convert the color part that you see over here into an RGB color product. So let's go image, band selection. We're going to change it to a three band combination and in quick bird the red, green, blue are reversed so it's three, two, one. Hit OK and now let's kind of clean this image up a little bit and let's do a histogram remapper and we'll do an auto stretch. There we go. That looks a lot better. Now so that we have both views aligned to each other, let's go ahead and highlight the pan and we'll select full view synchronization and we should have full view synchronization turned on now. Let's go over an area that has some detail. Um, and from here you can see the pan is much sharper than the multispectral because it's a higher res product. We have it zoomed in. It's kind of pixelated. So let's select a higher resolution uh, or a better uh, resampling engine. And we'll select a sync filter. And now what we're going to do is combine these two images together so that the details on the pan band come through on the color product. So let's take both of these images you see on the left hand side, highlight the reprojection chains and we'll combine them into an SFIM fusion. So go down here and find the SFIM fusion algorithm and hit OK. Now sometimes when the fusion algorithm comes up it may only have one band selected. So what we'll do is highlight the image, band selection, and make sure it comes out as a three band product and now we have a final uh, fusion a fused product if you want to look at it or swipe them together we should have these two combined um, into a swipe right here and we can see it so let's go box horizontal see a before and after shot. So it blurs through the image so you can see the before and after shot of the 